Throughout the history of the NBA draft, there have been a number of things that could help or hurt a prospect's draft stock from the end of the college basketball season to the NBA draft. Information like a prospect's accurate measurements, a max vertical, injury concerns, or even an interview could be the major reason why a prospect could see his draft stock rise to the top or drop further than experts projected. The one prospect this year that could see his stock rise is freshman point guard Tyrell Terry from Stanford University. Everybody knows how important outside shooting is in today's NBA, and the threat of outside shooting in your lineup can help spread out the defense and put you on the right track of a great offense. Terry started to get recognition as a possible one-and-done prospect in the middle of the college basketball season because of one skill, shooting. It's not his only skill, but it is his most important. Terry is a smooth, skilled point guard who emerged as a big difference maker on a Stanford team that played better than anticipated. The success of players like Steph Curry and Trey Young has really helped out a player like Terry a lot because he possesses some of the same abilities as those two. Those abilities are elite shooting, good passer, good handles, and a high basketball IQ. Terry needs to rely on those skills more than anything because he's not the most explosive guard and he's the average athlete. Looking at the numbers, Terry shot 90% on 82 free throws and 40% from three on nine attempts per 100 possessions. Those numbers confirm that he will most likely be an elite shooter on the next level. Terry is effective shooting off the dribble, off the catch, and has range well beyond the NBA three-point line. He does a great job running off screens and is deadly when he's shooting off the catch. Terry scored 1.5 points per possession shooting off the catch, which ranked in the 99th percentile. Not being a supremely quick guy, he really needed to be able to thrive in the pick and roll, and he does. Terry passed the ball on 36% of his pick and roll possessions. He's the orchestrator with the ball in his hands. Firing passes to rollers and shooter with great timing and accuracy, and with also the ability to whip passes off a live dribble. Creating space by running off screens is an art. Shooters need to be able to change their speed, direction, and destination to lose the defender. Players like Klay Thompson, Duncan Robinson, and Steph Curry have that ability. Despite his age, Terry is already exceptionally skilled at this. With the threat of a great shooter like Terry, the defense will automatically give extra attention on him. And with his great passing skills and unselfishness, Terry can find his teammates on the outside or sneak in back door for an easy layup. Unfortunately, if Terry doesn't have the aid of a screen, he is limited at creating enough space to get a clean look. He's a good ball handler, but his lack of athleticism hurts him. That's why his shooting, basketball IQ, and passing skill is so important. The main knock on Terrell Terry's game is his lack of size. When he came on campus at Stanford University, he measured in at 6'1", 155 pounds. Most draft sites had him around 160 pounds. That would have made him the lightest player in the NBA. That's the reason why Terry was projected to be drafted late in the first round, even with his impressive offensive skill set. This most recent report could be the news he needs to be considered in the lottery and may even in the top 10. He recently measured in at 6'3", 174 pounds. This is significant for his draft stock. Once looked at as undersized for his position, he is not on par with the size of an average point guard in today's NBA. Obviously, he needs to continue to add more weight and strength going forward, but this is excellent for Terrell Terry. NBA teams would definitely take a closer look at the kid from Stanford. The NBA prospects this year have had the luxury of extra time to prepare for the NBA draft because of the pandemic. Terrell Terry has capitalized on this benefit and will have more opportunities before the NBA draft even takes place to get even better results. No other guard in the draft class has the skill set of Terrell Terry. Not LaMelo, Killian Hayes, Kira Lewis Jr., Tyrese Halliburton, or Cole Anthony. They don't have the combination of his shooting ability, his passing ability, and his IQ on using screens off the ball. Now those other guys might have a size advantage, or maybe is more athletic and has more speed and quickness, but none of them have quite the skill set of Terrell Terry. With Terry being listed at 6'3", 174 pounds, teams in the lottery will have discussions on if they would rather take a chance on a guy like Terry over other point guards like Anthony, Lewis Jr., or even Halliburton. Which would be more important to you if you are a GM? Supreme quickness and speed from a prospect like Kira Lewis Jr. or elite shooting from a guy like Terrell Terry. I also had questions about Terry's size and how he would hold up on the next level. With Terry working hard to improve his body over the last year, he has been able to put on nearly 20 pounds of muscle to his frame 
and that takes hard work and dedication. Tara being drafted in the top 10 is a real possibility now.